What's going on, people? You just joined the Abomination. Appreciate y'all coming through, checking out the video. All right, today we talking about y'all boy Miles Morales, y'all favorite Spider-Man um, to carry the mantle, as well as uh, a slew of other characters. All right, um, Hulk. All right, Captain Falcon or whatever. Um, Wolverine uh, in the most racist iteration of a Miles Morales. What if uh, Thor? What if Miles Morales was Thor? All right. Before I just, you know, talk about that, uh, before I go into detail about that, I'm just going to say Miles Morales himself, his conception, all right, was racist. All right. He's tokenized Spider-Man. Some people like to call him uh, a, a moniker coined by young ripper Peter Darker because nothing is original about Miles. All right. Everything we see from Miles, we've seen from another uh, spider. And the only differences would be, um, or I would say, uh, make him lesser. OK, uh, he wasn't smart or was um, or got into his school uh, on merit. It was a lottery. So he was chosen. Marvel actually pulled a uh, BIPOC I choose you. All right. And then we plucked them out and then we put them into the school. But no, not smart enough to make his own web shooters or whatnot. No, they had to be gifted to him. Aunt May, I think Gwen Stacy. So Pete's web shooters had to be hand me down to Miles. So, they fit perfectly. Validate Miles, if you will. But it don't stop there. Let's talk about the uh, the influences in Miles' life. All right. Now that into the Spider Verse movie, be real with you. I loved it. Okay but I had to separate it from the actual comic. All right, I had to separate it from all the racist shit that came before. All right, and I had to look at this movie as a Disney superhero movie um, with some Spider-Man people in it. All right, that's what I saw it as. It was fucking amazing just because of the animation standpoint and the art, I'm into that, okay? I studied that, so that was great. All right, but under the guise of a great uh, animated flick, uh, it, it was a whole bunch of racism in it. I mean, you know, Miles is uh, biracial, but they pandered to the blacks, okay? Because that shoe scene, or well, that scene where he was running on that skyscraper, and you heard the little Nikes, the little, the little squeak of the basketball court. That was that was for you, niggas. That was for y'all. Watching these pictures, this is all over shoes. A few people got trampled. Doors were ripped right off their hinges. The Air Jordan retro shoes just went on sale early Friday morning. Since I was a kid, I've been, you know, working hard just to come up here early in the morning just to wait in line to get these shoes. I was the first person out of everybody that was out here to get these right here. How many pairs of Air Jordans do you have? I have about nine pair of Air Jordans, but it does not matter about those. It matters about these right here. This was the scene in Kansas City where people were sprinting through the halls. But that's nothing compared to the small in the Seattle area where people use pepper spray to break up a crowd that was pushing and shoving. The racism is there, okay? It's always been there. This ain't just happening. Y'all just ain't paid attention. And that's why they are so emboldened now and we get this Thor shit that we seeing. But back to the comics. So Uncle Aaron, a loving Uncle Aaron that was in the movie, yeah, that wasn't him. He was a fucking criminal trying to take advantage of Miles for his own little criminal empire trying to overthrow, I think, uh, Scorpion or, you know, somebody. I don't know. All right, I, I quickly got that shit out of my brain for the most part, uh, and I didn't keep reading. Uh, Uncle Aaron, loving Uncle Aaron, is saying, if you don't do this for me, I'm going to tell your daddy. Oh, if you don't do this, I'm, I'm going to snitch to your daddy. Like, Peter Parker gets a loving family, okay? He has the responsibility, the weight of his uncle being taken from him and him having to support his old aunt. And Miles get fucking two black males that's fucking bickering trying to use him or make him be what they want him to be and a mom that gets taken away from him this is a inferior spider-man but you niggas say he's the best one to hold the mantle how is he the best if he ain't did shit that original spider-man some spider freak ain't done already if he's the best spider person spider-man why is he the only one that we know by name? If he's Spider-Man, why is he Miles Morales everywhere? Why is that his defining trait? Why do we have to know that he's both black and of Hispanic heritage? All right, but Miles' father. Miles' father does not approve of Miles' lifestyle. What I mean is, Spider-Man is referred to as a mutant, all right, in this ultimate universe. He's a dude with superpowers. The mutants are a thing. 
Miles' father hates mutants, okay? They disrupt in society. Miles' father is a cop. He understands all of the, uh, the, the collateral damage and the lives that are being um, jeopardized because of superheroes. So Miles can't come out to his father, okay? He doesn't have a relationship with his father nor his uncle, all right, in this comic. But his mother, oh, Miles is, you know, he one-on-one -on -one with his mom. They like friends. That's his support system. So you mean to tell me that this black character that y'all using the panel to doesn't have a black male role model in his life he has to go to his puerto rican mother okay to be him true self and to be all soft and emotional with okay until she dies all right as far as i know again this could have changed but just by seeing this dumb shit in the beginning i was like fuck this book but again, Peter Parker comes over from his main universe to be uh, a support system to help Miles be a man or a better man, you know, to understand the whole responsibility type thing. And then Venom was got announced uh, for like some next book. So I was like, all right, well, we just doing the same shit over. All right. Just a um, more inferior version. All right. So Miles has always been racist, but because you niggas accepted it, y'all praised it, y'all championed it. It's y'all's favorite Spider-Man because black and Nikes. I was like, give me more, give me more. So they was like, oh shit, they, they didn't see that. Okay. Okay. They got emboldened. If a person can see that they can it, get away with something, all right, they're just gonna keep on pushing that line. They basically was playing chicken and was like, we're gonna keep taking this further and further and further, all right? And if ain't nobody saying none, um, until, until you know, we get some backlash or whatever. So that's what happened with Miles. So because the racism is so blatant in this Thor shit, now people are starting to wake up. Not black people though, because I put this in one of those groups or anime or, you know, superhero black groups or whatever. And they was like, oh, we know we still love it. It's fine. Just basically shut up and consume. So, you know, evil is going to evil. I don't blame them. Okay, for taking advantage of you niggas and constantly taking your money if you're just gonna give it to them. It's a company at the end of the day. I know we like to think Mickey Mouse is in a fucking suit and he's up there, you know, running, running shit on behalf of Walt Disney and they reincarnated him into this body or whatever, downloaded his conscious or whatever. Into, that's not what's going on. These are people in these positions with their own intentions and they look pretty fucking insidious uh, to me. And, and Miles Morales was created by Brian Michael Bendis, okay? This is a fucking white guy, all right? So his white guilt for uh, he adopted these black girls made him write this book, all right? But it's just, ah, when you don't know, you know what I'm saying? Shit like this happens. All right, so I'm gonna read this real quick, all right? I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna go into it too much, but I just wanna, want y'all to see uh, the reaction from the guy that made this book. So Miles is fighting this frost giant um, and while he does it, uh, he, he's rapping lyrics, okay, the songs. Uh, flip it and reverse it. Uh, the, okay, so the so there's still this Asgardian tongue or whatever going on because the Frost Giant says, you are but a candle against a thousand blizzards. Okay, so he talk normal. This is not uh, black Asgardian um, influence talk. This is, or dialect. This is, this is purely for the brown skins, all right? Why don't I have sleeves? I got this. Maybe I don't got this. Yada, yada, yada. All right, Loki looking at uh, <laughs> at Black Thor, uh, Black Odin. Odin don't give a fuck about his child. He was like, this your fault, uncle. I mean, this your fault, Aaron, or Loki, or whatever. <laughs> so, so another comic where this nigga don't give a fuck about his child. Ain't no party like an Asgard party. Because an Asgard party don't. The lyric is stop, but it say quit. Light it up. Boy, boy, his, his fade dripped. They got the dyed fro for y'all. Look at that, look, look at this little rap they put together. You can tell it, <laughs> Asgard. So look at this picture and I'm just gonna say, if this ain't the most racist shit ever, so you mean to tell me you black facing this white religion, but not only that, you're telling us that this old religion uh, is you, you blackifying it, but it but it has white origins. So instead of our own religion or something being mentioned or like culture 
uh, or myths. You have to take the white man's. Again, the same shit. Same with the hero. This is exactly what they're doing with Thor. Now we're taking the actual religion or belief and blackifying it, okay? Because we couldn't keep no real black shit intact and, and have Miles referring to it, you know? Some some trip to the past where he on some, some brown folk shit. No, we had to take the white man's religion and put the black man in it. And we see what happens when the black man goes there, okay? Are you saying this for like neighborhoods, for cities? When the black people get there, it looks like this? Hey, I mean, it does happen, okay? Truth be told, it does happen, but I mean, Asgard of all the five realms Asgard is his hood for miles you can see he's just that good I'm not even gonna try to rhyme this shit okay look at that shoe strings on the uh on the on the on the, <laughs> I mean the shoes on the power lines why the fuck Asgard got electricity I don't know the rainbow bridge takes him to his quest the Bifrost line goes north south east and west okay these niggas smart enough to know cardinal directions from Jormund Gondor, Jormund Gondor to the Wrecking Crew, he stuck Gullen Burst into the Asgard Zoo. I don't know Thor uh, Rogue's Gallery or much about him, so I don't know what this shit is. Okay, but they don't know what Black is, so checkmate. But he is low key when he wants to be. Name a Marquis like his uncle Low Key. Oh, oh shit, that had a little bounce to it. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Odin's son, he's the son of gods and kings. Got so many wins, check out all those rings. Ooh, this nigga spitting in y'all's faces with this dumb shit. He's formerly known as a prince for sure. His subjects in France, they call him Dior, Thor, Thor. Okay, we dropped the ball with that one, but hey, fuck it. Who's gonna pay attention, right? Who cares? Blackity black black. Look at that, when you niggas get a hold of white folk shit, white religion, you put rims on the chariot, okay? You were smart enough to create metal and automobiles, I guess, but you throwing rims uh, and it's driven by the goats, the goats. I'm surprised it's not driven by gorillas or some shit. Um, a graffiti everywhere, you know? Do I see trash? Don't let me see trash. I don't know, that's a hot dog cart, all right. There's graffiti everywhere though. Niggas just flying around and just tagging. Niggas just flying around and tagging. And there's more to it. This man is graffiti everywhere. So they just deface some public property. They don't give a fuck. I'm gonna tell you, hey, I, I, <laughs> look, black folks graffiti don't look like this. Okay, that shit looks dope. Okay, and well thought out. All right, that's, that's not what you see in the hood. You just see straight thin lines and some gang shit. I'm just being real with you. <laughs> that cold ass graffiti that tag and that's some Mexican shit all right probably some white folks shit all right that's racist but I know I'm being racist but I'm being funny all right I don't expect nobody to take me seriously okay but they think niggas just tag everything all right so that's the comic right so then the nigga want to come out and apologize now this is the person now let me read his apology so in this article it says this is now writer Yehudi Mercado has responded to the backlash. I've taken the last few days to step back and listen, and I acknowledge your criticism for my recent issue of What If Miles Morales was Thor, he said via Twitter. While I've lived a different experience through my own Jewish and Mexican background, I still know inauthenticity hurts, and I'm sorry this failed on that front. I've appreciated hearing and learning from my black and Puerto Rican comics peers and hope to use this moment to help promote better authenticity. He added. So we got some black and Puerto Rican dudes in there because they could have stopped them before. But they was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. These, bro, these ain't these ain't no regular black people that they talking to. These are appointed, casted, colored people. OK, in this profession. I'm also going to donate what Marvel paid paid me to the Brooklyn book bodega which works to build literacy and get more books to kids in new york city so i'm gonna donate to the niggas i'm gonna prove their education because they talk like this and they need somebody to save them this is another instance this is not the first writer to do some shit like this but it's funny because marvel is putting these people out there as the faces of this shit but this is not their fault they wrote this shit sure but you also had an artist to draw this shit. You also had an editor to approve this shit. 
Everybody ain't fucking up in the same direction of racism and it all comes together for this fucking menstrual comic. Okay, that shit had to be orchestrated. All right, these people are pawns and they being played with. Or they gonna say whatever they need to to keep whatever power access to be in with the people they in with. Um, so yeah, this nigga taking his own personal money instead of saying like, nah, Marvel, you approved this shit. You told me to do this. Do something about it. Fuck that. This is another company not giving a fuck about his employee and saying this is the reason y'all mad. <laughs> Miles Morales is now best known for the recent Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse movie, which saw Miles Morales suit up in the alternate universe alongside various other incarnations of Spider-Man. Right, that's why people know Miles Morales, because that movie. So I can see how the gadgets and gizmos could uh, fool some people, but it's like, you know, at what point is enough enough? Or what point is enough? The comic written by Yehudi Mercado with art by Luigi Zagaria. It's part of Marvel's upcoming 60th anniversary celebration of the famous web slinger, but the comic was met with instant backlash over its stereotypical black depictions. I love chicken as much as the next nigga, okay? But for you to have a character called Hot Wings in here, okay, like Hot wings are exclusive to black people because I didn't just move to Texas and they hot wings ain't the same as Memphis hot wings. All right. So I'm just saying of all the five Rams, as are as I already said that shit. He also shouts it's hammer time while swinging his version of Mjolnir. A lot of black folks don't even know who that is. I am C hammer, but it's black. Remember, it's black. So let's throw it in there which is covered in graffiti, Mjolnir. And comic book fans were having none of it. Okay, people have backlash, whatever, whatever. I've been saying this shit. And an unfortunate twist, this particular issue of what if Miles Morales was the first to be penned by a non-black writer with previous issues written by Cody Ziegler, Anthony Piper, and John Ridley. So, I don't know anything about current Miles, okay? I don't give too much of a shit, but he was created by Brian Michael Bendis, like I, I said before created by a white guy. So this just told me this particular issue of what if Miles Morales was the first to be penned by a non-black writer. So white guy creates Miles, does what he wants with Miles, but we're going to give the what if series to all the black writers, okay? Except for this one. So you're telling me only a white man is good enough to write Miles' story. What if these writers were actual writers? <laughs> so we just gonna give them that series, the spinoff, the shit that really doesn't matter. It's just fan fiction. Oh my goodness. Th bro, the racism is there. The racism is there. Thankfully, Morales should make a far less stereotypical return to Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, which sees him take on the multiversal villain, The Spot. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna make sure not to see that movie just because... Uh, it's time for us to stop giving them money. All right. Um, again, people, it's always been there. All right. But I guess because they didn't have the big lips. Okay. And a fucking watermelon sitting in your face. Don't beat me, Master. Please don't beat me, Master. Don't beat that tired old body. No, don't. And, uh, you know, you just accepted and you just kept on moving. All right. Black Spider-Man. Okay, Jordans, all right, exaggerated swagger. Y'all played the game and saw the movie. That was about it. But again, these people have been emboldened, all right? They kept they kept making these little racist little moves. I mean, they do it with gay people too. They be flaming homosexuals in their books and it just be some crazy depictions of gay people like they not regular. They gotta be sexually aggressive and all colorful and all this type of shit. This company does not care about any of this social justice bullshit that they pumping, but they point, they putting it out there and highlighting it because they think it's going to bring them money. Let it die while they keep alienating us actual fans. <sighs> I'm not saying anything that I haven't said before or many others haven't already said. Stop accepting the sloppy seconds of white folks. Okay. This is a servant of chillings and you niggas are opening your mouth wide saying give me more continue to consume is great because black let's have better respect more respect for ourselves and stop waiting on the next person to tell our stories 
Let's make our own shit, okay? I'm tired of seeing you black folks, world, not move unless a white person do it or some light skin, some other race does it. All right, they, what these crazy, these extreme liberals, these SJWs don't tell you is how black folks treat each other. All right, because when I'm reading this comics and shit growing up, it wasn't white folks telling me don't read this. It wasn't white folks telling me you can't be here. It was black folks saying, why are you reading that white shit? Why are you looking at that white shit? Why are you drawing that white shit? So culturally, we have an issue. There's this closed mindedness with black people. Um, regardless of where it came from okay we can do something about it and change that shit okay we need to have more respect for ourselves and capitalize on ourselves all right uh, other races are not going to respect us all right if we don't respect ourselves but that's all for this video people leave me a like or a dislike all right be true to yourself tell me how you really feeling by leaving a comment down below I really don't care what you say, just tell me how you feeling. All right, I'll talk to you, I respond, I enjoy the, I enjoy the interaction, make that algorithm work. All right, and if you find any value in my opinion whatsoever and you wanna hear more of my thoughts, I appreciate you. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So I'm not sure I get you. Give me a real fight. Chapter in the Art of War about misdirection. <laughs>